What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Snipe Young, and welcome to the Produce Market. And today we're going to talk about um, simple snapping samples, well, loops, or a sample, I guess you could say. Um, getting the tempo without doing the time stretch thing and without doing the audio being and the, the other way that I've seen a lot of people do it, the bend tool and the, the audio band joint. Um, it's easy, but it's kind of intricate and, and you have to be precise, but I, I like it better this way because I can actually um, get ideas while I'm grabbing the sample. So first of all, uh, I have my shortcuts um, set to, I think I, I think it's called split. It's a split tool, split at the grid right here. It may be that one, I think. No, it's split at the cursor. Split at cursor, I have mine set to Z, so you don't have to do that, but I have mine set to Z. Um, you can put, enter the key here and then assign that key to your split as cursor cursor and what I do say for instance I'm going to use this this loop here it's a Marvin Gaye of course not use this one because you will get <laughs> sued. <laughs> sued but for this purpose I will because it's a funky sample first of all I will listen to the sample and I will count out what I want so I'm just going to get the first couple bars for demonstration purposes. That's my five right there. Okay, so I could have done two bars, but I want to do a four bar. Now, what I'm doing is I'm hitting tab. And I'm not, I think that's on, I have the Pro Tools uh, modified shortcuts on. So I'm hitting tab. And once I get to this transient, the tab um, sorts transients. Shift tabs go, shift, shift tab goes backwards um, in transients and tab goes forward. So if I hit it to the closest transient right here, it will cut that. And I don't want none of this. I just want to get rid of it. Just for demo, demo purposes only, of course. Um, I don't want any other beginning. I just wanted to come on under one, Dun, right there. So all of that can go. So I, again, I use the tab, and I tap to that first transient right here. See that? It may give me a little closer. No, it's that's the one. Okay, that's the first one that it recognizes. Sometimes it it, it gets really close. Sometimes it may uh, pick up a something in that background or whatever. But that's pretty close. So we'll say. It may give me a problem because it's flaming at the beginning, but we'll see. Okay, so I know I had five bars, so it should end here. I have my tempo set to 130, and I'm just going to leave it there so you will see how it actually snaps it. I hold down Alt, and you see that timer or little clock thing that comes up. I just snap it to the five. Boom. And... That's it. Boom. I got me a loop. I got a loop right there. Now, once I bounced it in place, I did it this way with the right click and hit bounce. You can do control B or whatever. Control B or control B does the same thing. Now I can slow this down. Now, if I want to get it actually tighter than that, because it's a little behind because of the flame at the beginning, I can just stretch it out and go get it, boom, right there. And just do the same thing again. Put it on the one. And, of course, at the end, it's going to give me a little space at the end. I just snap this to the nine. Boom. Because I made a double, a duplication. So now you see that. It's on there a little better. If I didn't even want that whole piece, I can just get the, just those first two bars. I can get that. I can just go grab the same thing. Boom. Cut. Doom. I don't want it. I want to go right here. That's it. That's the 
that's all I want. I want to loop that over and over. Now you can actually, now that I have it on a grid, I can actually go and grab it. And let you see it, make it a little larger. I can actually grab, I have a little extra transient there, but you, you can do a little doctor work. I can actually grab and pull back. And if I wanted to make it go with just this piece here, I can push that over and it give me this. Now, another thing that uh, I love about, wow, this, that's weird, that was crazy. Um, I can put it on 16, it may snap it to 16, I'm not sure, but the quantize feature on this joint is ridiculous, watch. right on now. Now I can take that same thing and go to my trusty red light district. Boom. Now, I just heard this part. I just want this. I just want that to go over and over again. I don't want nothing else but that doom tick doom doom tick doom doom tick I'm going to duplicate this track so I can have that effect on there and just drag this down. I don't want any anything else other than a doom tick tick doom doom tick tick doom doom tick tick doom doom. Right. So I'm just gonna get this and put this on the one. Mute everything else. And of course I'm doing the sh the right click so you can see it because I don't want you to not think that you can you can't do it because you don't know the shortcuts I'm using. I'm using Command D or Control D. And to duplicate that out like that. And let's see what we have now. I don't even want that ending. Doom, ticka, 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 doom, ticka, ticka, ticka. You can do whatever you want to do with it at this point. You can do whatever you want with it. Now that gives me a whole different vibe. A whole different vibe. Now, if I went from here to here, I could take that one thing and manipulate that into different things just watch this one the one little idea That's just this machine, the Golden Kingdom. That's simple, just like that. You got an idea. That simple. Have fun.